An absolute essential roller coaster tycoon ride, the wooden roller coaster is a classic in real life and a classic in the game. They have been around for decades and are a staple of many real life theme parks with some of the oldest existing coasters in the world being wooden coasters and given their large wooden supports they are pretty much the most recognisable coaster in Roller Coaster Tycoon, dominating the landscape at any park. A big advantage with wooden coasters is their ability to attract guests to your park. Like in real life, wooden coasters are popular ride types and while I'll direct you to Marcel Voss's video on guest spawning for an explanation of the mathematics the game employs in its coding here, what we need to know as players is that wooden coasters bring in around 105 new guests to your park, whereas for most coasters it's a number in the higher end of double figures rather than going into triple. So if you need to get over the line to win a scenario, these can be a great way to get more guests into the park. Unlike a lot of steel coasters, the wooden coaster is limited in special track pieces, but you do get a vertical loop and, unique to the wooden coaster, the water splash. It doesn't actually add a lot to your excitement stats, but can look quite cool, especially if you use it to create the impression the ride is going through a large body of water. Be warned though, the water splash takes a lot of speed from your ride, about 10 miles an hour or 16 kilometers per hour to be precise. This can be great if it's at the end of a ride and therefore acts as a natural braking mechanism, but not so great if you still have inclines to make. While the wooden coaster is limited in special track pieces, it does have a few car types to choose from, including one which sends riders in reverse the entire way around, and understandably adds a little bit to your nausea. The ride also gets my carts and stagecoaches added in the Wacky Worlds expansion. The wooden roller coaster is one of the bigger ride types, so can't compete with things like the junior and mini coasters when it comes to price, but it's cheaper than most of the bigger steel coasters in the game. The classic look and feel also gives a boost to your stats. You'll get higher stats with a wooden coaster compared to a steel coaster of the same design. However, it's hard to build a really cheap version due to requiring a minimum track length which is over 1000 foot in order to deliver good stats. That minimum track length to avoid stats penalties is actually 1,214 feet, meaning you can't build incredibly small, compact rides and still return good stats. This is what 1,214 feet looks like. By way of comparison, some build menu rides of other coasters wouldn't meet this length criteria, including the inverted hairpin Hawk's Nest, the air-powered coaster Wings of Apollo, and all of the Virginia Reels, to name just a few. So if you've ever built a wooden coaster that comes in with low stats, chances are it needs to be a bit longer. But like most coasters, to avoid track penalties there are a few other boxes to tick. They are that length, 1,214 feet or 370 if you play in meters, a minimum drop of 29 feet, at least two drops, and top speeds hitting 22 miles an hour, that's 36 kilometers per hour. If you hit all of those, you're also going to hit the fifth stat requirement 0.1 negative Gs. Failure on any of these will halve your ride stats. Now at this point I'd usually show some of the pre-existing designs in the game, but there are just so many, including 30 in the build menu. Eight of them are from the Six Flags parks. Plenty of other parks also contain wooden coasters. There's one at Bumbley Beach, two in Carts and Coasters, and many more throughout the game, including five at Blackpool Pleasure Beach including that iconic Grand National ride, which I'll leave you with today.